Hey guys, it's Lauren Espinachi here. Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be talking about the new American Girl releases for um, winter of 2019. I'm super excited to talk about these and before I launch into the accessories, furniture and accessories, I just want to talk about the new price on the dolls. If you haven't heard, the new price on um, the dolls are $98, which is literally insane and I'm so happy. They haven't been that much in like so long like I started collecting dolls in winter of 2010 and they were not $98 they were more so that's insane that for the first time in like forever <laughs> frozen um yeah they've their the prices are that low which is insane so thank you for that American girl but let's get started into the rest of the things so the first thing I'm super excited about and I'm like kind of freaking out about is the elf on the shelf set for $20 and I think $20 is a very reasonable price because I think normally when American girl uses like trademarked things normally it like boosts the price up a little bit but I think $20 is very reasonable so I'm like really excited and then the next thing is this little like earmuff and like glove set I do think it's cute personally I wouldn't spend I mean, it's $10, but at the same time, I don't see my dolls wearing this stuff, so I wouldn't buy it, but I do think it's pretty cute. This next set for $35 is the Cookie Baking and Decorating set. I do think this set is adorable, and now that I'm looking at it closer, I do really like it. I do wish the cookies were a little less, like, plasticky and a little bit more realistic because they do look just like pieces of plastic. They're not, like textured if that makes sense like how some of American Girl's other food has been in the past so I don't know although that does look kind of textured but like the cookies do look very just like smooth and plasticky I don't know and then for $40 there's this advent calendar I believe you get like little miniature doll accessories something like that in there but um yeah okay these boots are adorable because I love boots like this I think I do have a pair of boots very similar to this so I want like these boots so we can match but they are $15 which is kind of a lot but at the same time they are adorable so I do think they're kind of worth it so I love that and then next is Mary Ellen Seaside Dinner Bakery Case I think the set is adorable I just oh my gosh I think it's so cute I have no idea where I'd put this so I mean honestly as much as I love this set and would you <laughs> cannot speak as much as I would use this set it's just a matter of like where would I put it but it is adorable and I love all the food like oh my gosh is that pie oh my gosh this next set the warm and cozy hat and shawl thing oh my gosh it's so cute I love that hat and I love the little shawl and like oh my gosh and then we have Julie's Christmas fireplace and it's actually cardboard um, for $75, by the way. I'm very upset about the cardboard. Um, apparently, in Julie's story, they had to get a fake, like, cardboard fireplace, which is, I guess, something that people did in the 70s, or at least according to, like, what I read. So, the historical accuracy is correct, but at the same time, it kind of feels like it's, it's made out of cardboard, and we have to spend $75 on it. I do think that's a little ridiculous. I know it does come with a few other things, and I'm pretty sure that Christmas tree lights up, but also I'm pretty sure you can find a mini Christmas tree very similar to that for like $8 somewhere. I swear I've seen it somewhere. Like, there you can find them, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know. As cute as it is, I do kind of think it's a ripoff, but it is adorable though. Um, ice skates, they're really cute. I don't know what else to say about them. Oh my gosh, they come with the little, what are they called? I used to ice skate. I can't remember what they're called. The, the skate guards. Yeah, those are cute. Um, not a big fan of the little fuzzy cuff thing around it though, but they are cute. Okay, the pinball machine is adorable and I love it. And where would I put this? I don't know, but like I kind of want it and it's adorable and I love it so much. Um, I've learned throughout the years that I'm a horrible pinball player, so that's fun, but I think this is adorable. Oh my gosh, I wonder, does it work? I don't know. What if, oh my gosh, would it like actually, that'd be cool if it actually worked, I don't know, maybe it like makes noise. 
I think we have, I should also mention, I've seen all this stuff before, so, like, these aren't, like, my reactions, these are just my opinions. The last video that I did for the summer releases were all, like, my reactions. So, um, I think Mary Ellen's sled is adorable for $65. It's kind of pricey, um, but it is really cute. And then, um, we have Mary Ellen's school desk, which I love. I love the blue color of this. It, like, matches her bakery thing. So... I do love this. Um, I kind of want to see it in person, but it's pretty cute. Okay, Mary Ellen's piano, yeah, upright piano, that's what it's called, is adorable, and I believe it's, it's wooden, like, it's actual wood, so thank you for that, American Girl. It's $150, I believe, yes, um, but it is adorable, so, yeah, um, I really love that. And then we have Mary Ellen's Ready to Launch rocket set. Oh my gosh, it's the thing where you step on it and then like the rocket launches. I don't know if it actually works, but it's a really cute set. Um, I don't know what I'd do with it personally because there's a lot of really cute things that American Girl makes that are adorable. It's just like, when would I actually use that, you know? But I do think it's an adorable set. Um, so this is just to like carry your doll in as a backpack. So that's pretty cool. And then another thing that they did this release is they took a lot of the Be Forever items and kind of redesigned them. So we have a new version of Julie's bedside table thing. So I do like that. I love the rug. I love like the colors. It's really cute. I do think that the nightstand is a little short and it's supposed to be like that, but like, I don't know. It just seems a little too short, but oh my gosh. I love her new bed. I mean, it's like the same bed basically, just with different coloring and patterns, but I do really like it. Yeah, it's really cute. I don't know. <laughs> then we also have this, like, travel seat for the dolls, and then apparently Mary Ellen's Seaside Diner was also redone, so I have been obsessed with this set, and um, I still think it looks really cute. And then there's, like, some strollers and stuff. Apparently, Rebecca's Kitchens have been changed, but they're still cute. I love cats, but you know. And then we have Rebecca's parlor table, which I love. I that's, That looks like real wood, so that is really cool. And that's, oh my gosh, <sighs> did not realize that was $150. That is a little much considering that Melody's piano is the same price and the piano, like I'm assuming works. I don't know. Um, and then we have Rebecca's Sabbath set, which I think looks adorable. That is $70. Okay, but that's probably real, like, glass um, teapot. So, I don't know. I really like when American Girl uses, like, actual glass, which makes it worth the price a little bit more. All right. What else? The So, the dog, they must have redid the dog. I don't know. It's still cute. And then we have Kai's doll, which I love. And then, I guess... These are also new, apparently. So, we have Nutmeg. Oh my gosh, I love Nutmeg. And then, her uh, menorah and dreidel set, which is super cute. I love the blue color on those candles. I think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, there's a puppy. I love that. Um... So here's just some of the other things. I'm not going to go through everything. Oh my gosh, I love the trading feast and tool mat. I think that is such a cute set. $48. Okay. I want the beaver. Like, let's be honest. This is the cutest thing that has ever existed. Yes. Thank you for that, American Girl. And then apparently Rebecca's bed has also been redesigned, which is super cute. And then that is all of the furniture... And accessories. So now we're gonna move on to the clothing, which oh my gosh, um, I love the clothing. So they changed they changed their website, and I'm like kind of annoyed because I hate when websites change because it's like great now I have to find myself find my way around again. But you know, like I missed the old American Girl website in like 2012. Okay. So, the first thing we have are these pajamas. I think these are adorable, and I love all the little snowflakes, so I definitely want these. Um, the Let It Snow shirt I think is cute, but I really don't like the fuzzy cuffs, cuffs on the sleeves, 
so not not exactly a fan yeah i don't know the the whole like let it snow thing is cute though and then this skirt is also pretty cute um personally i don't think i'd buy it for my dolls because i just don't think it's their style um but i do think it's a cute skirt and i'm obsessed with these tights these tights just make me think of christmas because they're that like that style of tights so i love that and also like doll tights can be super useful and that's fifteen dollars okay but this is probably my favorite thing out of the whole release it's mary ellen's pretty pink dress i'm obsessed i have never seen anything so like gorgeous in my life and so many like thoughts like ran through my head when i saw this i feel like it it's like a like a sleeping beauty outfit but more of like a modern day sleeping beauty outfit but it also reminds me of Giselle's dress and enchanted there's so many things so I'm obsessed and then I love this little like vest thing it's also pretty cute <gasps> then the new Christmas dress I love the new Christmas dress so much I'm literally obsessed that's $36 which I think is what they're normally priced at but I love the dress we have Mary Ellen's back to school outfit. Not a big fan. The sweater is kind of cute though, but I'm not a big fan of this outfit. And then we have her, her uh, sledding outfit, which I love this outfit so much. I love plaid. Is that that's what it is, right? Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cute. And then oh my gosh, the new boy doll outfit. I'm literally obsessed. I showed my mom the the outfit, and like she's like, oh my gosh, that is great. So. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this outfit. And then, oh my gosh. So, Rebecca's Hanukkah outfit is another one of my favorite outfits from this release. I think it's adorable, and I love that shade of blue. And then, um, Julie's Christmas outfit is also pretty cute. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but actually it's kind of grown on me. So, I don't know. I actually kind of like it, but I do miss her, like, old Christmas outfit and even like the last like purple one I think this is probably my least favorite of the three I don't know if there's one before that but out of the three that I know of like this is not my favorite but it is pretty cute <gasps> okay that is actually kind of adorable I don't know what scenario my doll would just like randomly wear this but it is such a cute like what would that be called oh my gosh I forget what it's called, but it's really cute. Oh my gosh, I love Melody's outfit. It's like grown on me a lot. Because when I first saw it, I wasn't too sure, but now that is adorable. And then, oh my gosh, I didn't know. I, had, I haven't seen the Welly Wishers stuff. So the Welly Wishers essentially just got like a, um, a different version of the other pajamas because it's like basically the same print just with like different colored pants which actually I kind of like the Willy Wishers outfit a tad bit better because there's like a little bit less of that pattern if that makes sense I don't know Julie's pajamas I'm not the biggest fan um well actually I saw a picture today with um without the little jacket thing and just the dress and I do think the dress itself or the nightgown is cute it's just I don't know what's going on with that coat I'm not a fan but this bitty baby outfit next to it is really cute oh my gosh I oh my gosh my bitty baby I literally didn't name it I just called it bitty but it was oh my gosh I love that oh my gosh I love Rebecca's new pajamas oh my gosh I love that and of course we have the bitty baby version of the um Christmas dress and then we have uh, Rebecca's winter coat which I swear this coat has existed before where have I seen it it's probably just like a different version right but like I yeah then we have some pajamas I think we're getting close to the end yeah because these are all human human clothes so I think I think that's it so Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know how long this is at the moment, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm trying to post more. I know I have hopefully a customizing video coming out very soon. That will be my next video. And then after that will be my Q&A. No idea when those videos are actually going up, but they're videos I want to do. And then I really want to do this really big project that I just think would be really cool, but it's going to take a lot of work. So I'm not sure when that's going to come out, but 
yeah, I don't know. I just, it'd be great to have it come out soon, but at the same time, school is just a lot this year, and I'm like, it's really not the most fun, wonderful experience sometimes when you're literally staying up to 11 o'clock or midnight studying for like three tests in one day, but you know, uh, yeah, I'll stop with my ranting, but yeah, it just hasn't been a completely wonderful experience. So anyways, um, how has your guys' school year been going? I hope it's been good. I hope it's been better than mine. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would like to hit, um, 350 by the end of the year or maybe by the end of October. I don't know, but yeah, please subscribe. I try to post. I'm not quitting, but I, I will try to post consistently, whatever that means. Yeah. Bye guys. <laughs>